guys, Jason again. So we've designed our mobile app, we have the workflow document to back it up, but what's the first thing people see when they're gonna download your mobile app? The app icon. And believe it or not, these are really difficult to design because they're so small, but so much thinking and creativity and design has to go into it. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to design your very own app icon for your next big idea. So let's get Photoshop opened up and let's get cracking. So what I'm gonna do before I create the app icon is uh, I'm gonna go to my friend's site, Jock Pereira, he's a security expert. And I noticed something about his website uh, today when I decided to make this tutorial was, if you go on my mobile, this is my, this is my iPhone, I'm using uh, AirPlay, uh, Air Server. Uh, for this, uh, you'll notice that his his site is responsive, kind of, so you can see that it looks good on a mobile phone. But if you click on the icon below, because say I want to add this to my home screen as an icon, well, I'll add to home screen, and I'll see that the the icon, if you notice the icon here, isn't really an icon. It's just a, a screenshot of his mobile uh, mobile you know version of his website. So. I'm going to show you guys not only how to make the nap, an app icon for your home screen, so that way when you come here, you'll see it as one of these, but I'm also going to show you how to include it in your website because there's some code that you have to use, which is this right here. You have to basically tell a device that your icons for different device sizes are directing it to a certain file, which is a PNG, which is an image which we're about to create. So let's get started on creating a cool app icon for Josh. So I actually have a template that I use and I'm gonna let you guys use it as well. Um, let's just open up, for example, this one here. <clears throat> and after I use it, I will give you this file so that you can manipulate it yourself. So the first thing you wanna do is, is uh, right click on edit me and save layer. So right click, edit contents. Okay, once you do that, it's gonna open up the actual app icon. This is my app icon um, for Instamore. Uh, again, if you haven't tried out uh, my app, there it is. It's a pretty cool uh, video messaging app. So, enough of my plug. Let's get rid of my layers. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of those. So let's give Jock a cool color first. Um, first things first, so the color overlay I gave myself was like a red. Let's see what his site looks like. So it's like a gray and a black and a yellow. So he's got some cool colors there. So let's see what we have. So um, we're gonna do, let's do a gradient overlay. And he's got like a black color and he's got like a gray color. So let's do maybe like a dark gray. So maybe like, uh, like that one. Okay, let's maybe do this negative. So all I'm doing is applying to this layer, I'm applying a gradient overlay. Um, and the way to do that, again, just double click on the layer, click on gradient overlay, click on the color here, and then choose the colors by clicking on these little, these little boxes here. Um, you can always give it a third box if you want to give it a, a third color. So if I want to give it that gold that he has on his site, I can do it like that. Which is actually kind of nice. but. Uh, for the purposes of this, we're gonna make his icon gold and we're gonna make his icon gold and the background's gonna be this, this dark color. All right, so once we have that, now we need an image of some sort. So he's security expert, he's testing. Um, so I'm gonna go to Google Images, which I always do. And I already had a tab open, but whatever. And I'm gonna type in security images. <clears throat> There's already a bunch. And this one's kind of cool right here. But you have to do something specific. For this, for this demo, you have to click on uh, usage rights and then labeled for uh, reuse with modification. All right, because if not, you can get in trouble. So you have a lock, you have a, uh, a security shield. Um, if you can't use these, we might be able to just get some ideas from it. So I like the eye. It's a pretty cool one there. Um, but this one doesn't seem to be exactly, this doesn't seem good enough for an app icon. It's too big and too, too many images on there. So let's try, um, let's try hackers. See what we get for hackers. 
So hackers, we have, you know, uh, all sorts of different images here as well. And Heartbleed, that's a good one too. <clears throat> but again, for, labeled for, you, for reuse, we're not getting really the best ones. Sometimes what you can do is go to not filtered by license and you can change the image so that it's okay to use if you change it enough. <clears throat> I would think that, see someone's already kind of using this lock here um, and also this one here. So for example, we can take this image here or even this image here and I'll show you how to change it. So let's take that image and let's just drag it in. Okay. And let's copy it and paste it. <clears throat> let's make it bigger. Obviously we're going to make this bigger. Okay. And since we have to change this, basically changing it is getting rid of the check mark. So let's just highlight the check mark with the magic wand tool. Okay, I use the eyedropper tool to select the green color that's inside here. Paint bucket tool to fill it in. And there you go. Now, obviously there's a little bit of a weird line here that always happens. So I take the paintbrush and I'm gonna make it bigger. And just go like this and just fill in the, uh, the line. I'm not exactly sure why that always does that. Let's rename this line to shield. Let's move it up here just so we keep track of things. Remember, we got to name our layers. Obviously, we don't like this color because that's not consistent with his site. So Jock uses like a gold color here. I'm going to use um, Firebug in Firefox to actually determine um, by clicking on this icon here to click an element on the page. And I'm going to select this circle. This is going to be something I'll teach you in another tutorial on how to create a Bootstrap website or how to create a website using Bootstrap. And this teaches you how to find out elements, sizes, shapes, colors, you know, height, width, everything. So I'm going to select this A. And as you see here, um, it shows you the background color and a border radius. So this is a CSS element. It's not even an image. So I'm going to take that color, FFA100. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to apply it to the shield. How do you do that? You double click it, add a color overlay, select the color overlay select the red color and put in the color that you want here. Bingo. So we have a shield. What else do we want? We don't want just a shield. We want something else there, like maybe an eyeball. You can always check the custom shapes you have in Photoshop by clicking on, by holding down the left click on the mouse here to select this, this option and custom shape tool. From here, you can see all the shapes you have. There's quite a bit. If there's a lock, we can always use a lock. If there's an eyeball, we can use an eyeball. Uh, we can always use a bullseye. Bullseye is pretty cool. So, I mean, we could use one of these or we can go back to Google Images and take another image there. I say for the purposes of this demo, let's just take the bullseye and let's just put it in here. Just because it's kind of a cool image. And of course, we don't want that color. For this one, we're going to click the green here and we can always select gray or black. Black's kind of cool to make it stand out. Maybe just like a little less of a black and more of like a dark, dark gray like that. Okay. And if you want to see what it looks like, just save this, close it and save it. And it'll automatically um, repopulate the images that I have in the template here. So that way you can see what it might look like in a phone. Um, that kind of looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not, you know, anything perfect, but I'm going to save this as uh, jock underscore Pereira underscore icon iOS 7. And let's just get rid of the rest at the end there. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. And then also you can save, sorry, I'll do that again. File, save for web and devices as PNGs. And, you, and what you'll notice is that it's going to um, it's going to save all of the images into a folder for you automatically. So check this out. App icon squared. So it automatically makes all the different sizes for you. And you know what, let's just use this one because it actually looks pretty cool. I mean, we can, we can give it a little bit more 
you know, we could take the uh, the shield, and and for example, we can give the shield a little bit of a, be uh, a bevel, so it looks a little little better, or like a drop shadow, you know, or there's a little drop shadow. We can give it a bevel, make it stand out a little more, you know, just just a little bit of a, of an edge to it, and then um, we can even take the the bullseye and give it just a tad of an outer glow, like a white maybe like a white outer glow to, to make it also stand out just a little bit. So see, it just looks a little different already. So let's just see how that looks. If we're happy with it, we'll let it go. <clears throat> yeah, let's just, let's just do it like this. This looks good. So let's save this. There we go. All right, so let's save this. Now for the fun stuff. So we're gonna take these app icons. We're gonna look at this code here and we have 144, 114, 72. So <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do this on one of my servers because I don't have access to Jock's website. So I'm gonna just basically copy this. I'm gonna copy this whole top co code here. And, and actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just copy this entire page. So I'm gonna take these app icons. I'm gonna put them into a, a folder called Jock under another folder called IMG for images. I'm gonna paste them in there, okay? And I also have to rename them. Well, I don't really have to rename them. I can rename them whatever I want. But, uh, so we're gonna take these names here, for example. Um, whatever one's 144 by 144. Um, I don't really think I have 144, so I'm gonna guess it's these two. So let's just call this one 144. Let's call this one 114. Let's call this one 72. And let's call this one 57. Okay, we don't really need their other ones. I'll get rid of those. All right, so I'm basically, what I'm doing is I'm gonna rename these, these names. They're very long names. I'm gonna call them just these numbers. I would leave them alone, and just so you know, you, would, you definitely wanna call them these names, it's better. Uh, for SEO, search engine, but just for this demo, to make it easy, I'm gonna call them what numbers they are. Okay, from here, I'm going to take my index page, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it in here, and now I'm gonna open up that page. So let's go with Jock, index, and let's rename these. I'm just holding down Control D to rename them all at the same time. Okay, and then we're gonna call this one 144. This one's gonna be called 114. This one's gonna be called 72. And this one's gonna be called 57. All right. And let us get rid of my website. Because <laughs> uh, we have too much stuff here. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Or I'll just leave, um, the nav on the left and the home slides. I'll get rid of everything else. Just so that we don't get confused. All right, and let's get rid of all that. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Forgot to include the CSS. Of course, we have to do a backslash to those two to let it know that it's a folder up. And I'll explain all that in a different tutorial. Let's do a local host. There we go, a little better. Still missing, um, it's still missing, but that doesn't really matter. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to upload this to my server so we can see if the icon worked. So I'm gonna to connect to my server. I'm going to drag Jock over to my homepage. So if I go to jasonsherman.org slash Jock, it should automatically go to the index page and see that did work. So there we go, which means I should also be able to go to uh, my, my mobile device and I should be able to go to Jason Sherman 
jock.org slash jock. Okay, let's see what the home screen icon looks like. Check it out. So if I add this to my home screen, there it is, right there. How cool is that? How cool is that? So that's how you add a home screen icon, and that's how you created a home screen icon, that's how you create an app icon, that's how you add it to your home page, and I'll give you guys access to all these files, and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If there's ever any tutorial that you want me to create in the future, leave a comment to let me know what it is, or you can email me, me at jasonsherman.org. And you can also check out my other tutorials, howto.jasonsherman.org. I'll see you in the next one.